here, but fun. This is when the exploring starts. If you're gonna come to Cooper Canyon via the Burkhart Trail, there's two things you need to know. One, the first place that the GPS will drop you off is an overflow parking lot. See the two boulders on the left? Normally they're open, but it's kind of out of season, so they have it blocked. You do not want to park here. You'll add at least a mile to the hike. So we turned around, and I'm going to show you just about 100 yards further is the way you enter Cooper Canyon. So now we're entering the second entrance to Cooper Canyon. You'll see the sign on the right talking about the campgrounds. You make a left turn here and you're going to follow this long single lane road all the way to the last parking lot. But you're going to pass many campgrounds along the way. So pay attention and I'll show you the signs as we head down to the free parking. Follow the Burkhart Trail signs and you're going the right direction. The parking is free for those who have an adventure pass or you can pay for a campsite and that's $12. And at the end of this long winding road you'll see the free parking with an adventure pass here. And notice it says extra parking outside the gate and you'll add an extra mile to this hike. Well I hope you don't do that. A lot of people complain on all trails and it's not a good way to go. Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you coming. Hey, we're at the Cooper Canyon via the Burkhart Trail and we've been here about three times. We're going to show you three hidden grottos today. Can't wait to show you. So come along. They're beautiful. You're they going to love them. Gorgeous. See you there. Let's go. The first grotto is less than a quarter mile from the trailhead and we're going to show you some landmarks so you'll be able to find it and check it out. So this is the first junction that will take you down to a grotto. And Heidi's gonna point it out here. It looks a little extreme, but actually it's not that bad. So you'll see a bunch of rock croppings and it looks pretty sketchy. You're gonna see two trees uh, in the shape of a cross and that's where you head down, but you wanna be careful, it's very slippery. It's always good to have a partner. Thanks again, Brian. I'm okay, give me a hand, hold on. Actually, I'm okay, I'm okay. Cool, thank you. I love this kind of exploring. How nice is this? Oh, beautiful. A little sandy beach. It's a little dicey through here, but fun. This is when the exploring starts. Oh, okay. Hold on, let me back up. Hold on. We're gonna go back to that beach. Oh, here's the good view. Look at that. Picture perfect. So that's what I call a real hiker. Once you got your feet wet, you're official. Of course. You're certified now, Brian. How do you feel? I feel great. Good. All right. You want to check out the next one? Yeah. How's it look? Can't wait to get down there. I'm going to take the high route and see if I can get down from this angle. And I'll meet you down by the, the beach, Heidi. See you there. So this is over the top of the fall coming down. If you want to take that route, see if it's possible. Oh yeah, it's gonna be possible. The water is this color from the decomposing conifer needles and the tannins in those needles leach into the water, but it's very pure and clean. And here's the other route that Brian's taken and Heidi. Seems like it's a little easier with the steps. 
looking at their route, I think my route might have been easier. Beautiful little grotto number two. Uh oh, <laughs> it is slippery down there. Watch out for that guy. Yeah, it's a tight squeeze. You're going. Three points of contact. Yeah, yeah three points of contact. Unless you're the filming guy. So you probably noticed by now, we're just following the creek, taking the path with least resistance. It is a little tricky, but that's the fun. That's, that's where we do the adventure. Brian's game. This is a little one. You think? So this is the way to the third grotto. We just left that other one, making our way carefully. A lot of twigs and leaves to trip on and slip on. Let's see if I can get a good view of the waterfall we're headed towards. Oh yeah. Okay. It's actually a little path. So this one I think is probably the best one. You'll see here in a minute. I'm going to show you the trail down. Okay, almost there. You're going to work for this one. So this is the beautiful grotto in fall, but I want to show you spring. Take a look at this. Yeah, I'm filming. Cooper Canyon is beautiful in all seasons, but spring is probably the most green. If you want a more direct route to the third grotto, we set up a Karen. And you will see a ghost tree on top of some rocks. Let me zoom in for you. Head straight down and you'll be at that beautiful grotto. As you make your descent down into the canyon, at this junction, take the Burke Hart Trail. It'll bring you up and back down, and you'll end up at the top of the falls, and we'll show you how to get down. So this is the top of the waterfall at Cooper Canyon, and we're gonna be heading down a very steep passage down and they provided ropes there, so we'll show you how to get there. When you come to this point, and you see this big tree, 
This is the first way down, but I think it's steeper and it's a lot more gravel and loose leaves. Come a little bit further past that rail where Heidi and Brian are on another 100 steps. And this path is a lot easier. Oh, good looking pool at the bottom. <laughs> okay guys, at this point, you're gonna be using a rope to get down. Mm -hmm. I suggest gloves. Um, let me give them a good shot. And you're gonna go straight down, it's pretty steep. think of this place? Really good for a picnic. Maybe we can camping. Relaxing. And a shower maybe. Yeah, maybe a shower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to bring your shampoo and soap. Yeah. And towel. <laughs> well, you don't need a towel. You just can clear into the boulder and relax yeah. and it dry. So Sean, what do you think of this place? Well, <laughs> it definitely makes me relax. Good. Beautiful. I think that waterfall is very hypnotic. There's something about hanging out here, you just want to take a nap. And these stones feel so good after getting in the cold water. It's yeah, like I a know. little heat rock. Oh, oh, I love it. Five star. All right. This trail is like an enchanted forest. I love it. I think it is just magical here. And the waterfalls make you feel like you're a little elf in the forest. <laughs> <laughs>